Hey, we got a new switch. Hey, look at this patch pad. Oh my gosh! Such a mess. This is a work in progress. The emphasis is on uh, getting things staged, not on making it look nice. The look nice part comes later because my mantra, one of my mantras, is make it work, make it right, make it fast. Uh, the make it fast part, I don't know if that works for this. For programming anyway, that's a really good way to do things. I thought this little corner looked pretty cool right now. It's, it's cluttered, but it's showing everything I'm doing right now. Uh, I had to use this to pound these little fast nuts into place, and that one I kind of, I didn't do this so good on that, and it's not lined up. But it's not really my fault, it's the rack's fault, because the holes aren't spaced the same. Oh, I just need to do this. Work in progress. This side worked for some reason. Anyway, I can fix that. The things don't line up very well. Oh, this needs, this actually needs to go down a little bit. For this to be able to go low enough for a screw to fit in that hole. Oh, these switches are nice. They, they provide power over ethernet. Which is what's powering these phones. These are VoIP phones. It's really cool, you can configure it all through a web browser. And it runs on Linux. That's right, that's the new phone system, that's the old phone system. The new phone system runs on Linux. <laughs> I'm leaving everything a mess. Oh man, that is a big mess. Anyway, I'm leaving everything a mess today because I'm coming in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. I still haven't figured out the internals of the system. Not the internals, but the operation. So, there's a bunch of work I have to do. We're not even switching over on Monday because we, we don't have the operator phones yet. See, these are just the regular phones that most people have. And the operator phones are capable of connecting to these because that, that doesn't work on this phone. There's no connection for that. The operator phones have four lines instead of just two. And they have this, all these buttons. I think there's like 36 buttons. And each button can be programmed to do different things. Like one could be transfer to this person, transfer to that person, transfer to that person. And then these could be like page that person, page that person, pay, pip, 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 pip. You know, you know, you know, yeah. The two people who answer the phones most here, they sit near the front in this area. They need more buttons. I still have several phones to install. Shipping room gets a phone now. Shipping never had a phone before. This area needs a phone. This area never had a phone before, but it will now. Same with back here. Oh, this is something I did today. Uh, it's kind of ugly. These wires could be cleaned up a little better. But, new phone here. Power over ethernet switch surge protector, and a new access point. It's here because people back here had a very poor signal and people in here had no signal. Which extends the range of our Wi-Fi network here. Unlike the hotel I stayed in, in Moses Lake, this has a roaming Wi-Fi network, which means you could roam between access points. You could walk, physically move between access points and you're not going to lose your connection. So there's only one SSID. You don't have to guess which one you need to connect to. You don't have to look at the, compare signal strengths between the two access points. You just you just connect to the office Wi-Fi. So that's something I've been doing for a while at home. And it's good. It's good. It's just good. Okay, let's go. Let's go get some food. Look before you enter. That's a bathroom. A uh, toilet. That's a toilet. And uh, I'm assuming that sign exists because there's been accidents where someone didn't knock before entering because they didn't know it was occupied. Something I really want to do here, I want to put a little occupied, unoccupied light up there. And it would be triggered by the light right here. So that'd be occupied and turn occupied. And then you wouldn't have to have to worry about people barging in while you're on the, the throne. Snow on the ground. Winter has got some like cook and and whatever and some and some some yeah I'm giving my sister. No she's on a diet. Uh some, and some this is my favorite and these are for and this here's some more yep I'm just piling this all on the floors and yep alright see you later food something I want to do first which is try this thing I got this from 
and I'm gonna see if it'll power my keyboard that I've never played. From the cable, there's a little wire thing, and uh, I, uh, I collect them in my organization drawer. Very handy. 10 second lesson, this little diagram shows the polarity of the sleeve and the tip. This part is the sleeve, the tip is in there. Some of them have a ring, which is, this one does not have a ring. This is saying the sleeve is positive, the tip is negative. Which matches up with what my keyboard needs. There was a point when I didn't know that, and I wish I knew that, so that's why I was explaining it. If you already knew that, sorry. Alright, let's try this. And... Nothing. Darn. I think this is broken then. That sucks. Probably why this thing says no exchange. Hopefully I can fix it.